Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Happy Saturday. I have a very special Saturday, something that um, I haven't done before. I've kind of been hinting at and talking about that I wanted to do it. Sorry, I'm moving something around here. But today, I'm busting in to the Japanese Tag Team All-Stars. I've never opened Japanese packs before. This will be a first. I'm super excited. And we will end it off with a Hidden Fates Japanese. If you guys remember, I got this from a mystery box. I had two of them. And I also have two boxes here. So this will be two separate Saturday videos, but I thought we would go straight into it. I'm really excited. This will be a completely new experience, um, which is kind of what I've been looking for. I mean, um, you open up so many of the same kinds, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, you kind of want to try something new. And I figured I've been talking about doing Japanese cards. These are like nicely put together. I can't even open it. Um, but talking about doing Japanese things, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. These ones are going to be particularly uh, tasty, as I think they have an ultra rare in every pack. But that doesn't mean that there isn't crazy, crazy pulls we could get out of here. Um, if I can even open it. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. I'm actually surprised that um, I found these. I figured they would be really hard to find, but... All right, we are opening up. We are poking a hole in here. These are nice... Uh... Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. That looks fantastic. All right, yeah, you know these are, oh, and these open up like this. I've like seen people open these, like Unlisted Leaf and stuff like that, uh, Grumpy Charizard, but I've never actually opened one myself. Goodbye camera, hello light. Ignore that, ignore that, that never happened. Uh, but here we go. Um, I think most people cut these with the scissors. I'm not planning on doing that. Maybe I'm wrong for this, but oh, the flap is reversed back here. Oh, wow. These packs are totally different. I didn't have scissors. I'm feeling like, okay, I got, I got it. I was like, I'm feeling like maybe I should. And they're upside down. Oh, no, 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 no. I am such a scrub. Okay, this is really exciting. So this is my first one. I think the code, I think the trick is like that. I don't think these come with code cards, but here we go. Um, that is a um, Trico Grovile and Skeptile. So yeah, this is Grovile. This, is this our reverse? This must be our reverse. So maybe it's I don't know. I don't know if I did this right or not. Well, I guess we'll see. I, I did. I moved one. Start with reverse. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I just leave it alone. We got a Porygon, a Shuckle. Um, I know that turns into a Cinnaroar, Salazzle here. Um, Japanese cards. Actually, not sure if I'm doing a really good job staying on the screen here. Oh, we got a Cherish Ball. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, so these are the best of the best. So these are like a mixture of things. Okay, we've got a Victini here. And we're starting to get onto the shiny border. But this is not a holographic. But this one is, we got a stack attack of holographic here. And here's our ultra rare, which is a Mawile. And I really like Mawile. So this is actually like one I'm actually pretty happy to get as a, as my ultra rare. And then I think we have a reverse energy here. And I think that's guaranteed in each one, but there's a secret rare with a pattern. Um, I'm guessing though, you guys probably know that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. I'm sure we're going to cover it up because we got several to go. I do not know how many um, packs are in each of these, uh, but each of these boxes, but we're going for it. So the, so the reverse, so it seems like it's going to be two. And if we do two off the back like that, it should be an energy and a reverse hollow. So we got another reverse energy fighting and this one should be a reverse hollow marsh stomp. So there you go. Um, and then our ultra rare should be in the very back. Um, this kind of feels so weird. Like these cards, they feel so different. I really like that Meowth. It's got those Poké Dolls with it. Um, a Lolan Vulpix, um, Nintendo DS 3.0. Um, it, it's kind of surreal opening these up actually. It doesn't feel like I'm opening up like normal Pokemon cards and I'm not, they're Japanese. I mean, they're, they're normal for Japan, of course. We got a, a the nice shiny mill metal is that oh that is holographic i didn't think that was holographic okay we got one more here another is this holographic holographic uh, hoopa whoopa i think it's just hoopa i don't know and our ultra rare goes to incineroar it's also a pretty cool one i guess i should have my sleeves ready uh, because i'm opening up these constantly all right here we go there we go good right there in Cineroar. so um i think in at least one in every box has like one crazy pull um I don't know anything about those crazy polls. There's like a list and everything here, but I can't say I understand it. So I feel like what we want to do, I think we want to do two, and then that's the ultra rare. And then there's like two hollows in front of it. So we want two and we want to move those two up three. And then we should, then it should be good. It should look good after that. So we got a Diglett, we got a Pidgey, 
this is this is really fun actually i wasn't sure how i would feel about this so i only got two but um this might be a thing like this feels like a whole new era Ooh, professor elm he's got the chikorita sent the quill and totodile i love that um this is like feeling like a new experience and i really am enjoying it um kind of revitalizing a lot of Pokemon feelings and opening them for the first time for me. That's what this is making me do. So we got a Fairy Hollow. We've got a Persian Reverse Hollow. We got a Mewtwo, which is holographic, and I don't think that's holographic. In the, there's one in the deck when you buy the theme deck, but not in the English. There's those are not. We got our Zapdos holographic. I have no idea what that's from, but that is sick. And then we got a Tag Team Greninja and Zorark um, right here. So that is an awesome GX tag team right there. Love that. Yeah, it's really interesting. And I have Japanese cards now. I've been kind of collecting them, but now I'm actually gonna have quite the chunk of them. All right, we're going into the next one. Feels like I'm about halfway through the box. I don't know. I don't know, I'm opening a whole box though. Um, depending on how long this video is, I might break the next one into a couple. Probably not. I'll probably open them all. Um, here we go, one, two, three. So we're doing two and three, and that, that seemed to work out really, really well for us. And we start off with the cutest Vaporeon of all time. Uh, probably my most favorite Vaporeon cards, even above the, um, the classics like you'd get from base set and stuff. I really like that Vaporeon. You gotta respect them if it's good art and if the new. We got a Cinderwar, which is a rare. At least in English, it's a rare. Um, I'm not actually sure how to tell on this one. We got a Dark Energy, a Reverse Hollow, Cottony, I think. We got a Kartana Holographic. Um, this is the guy on the Lost Thunder Elite Trainer box. I forget his name. I was just about to say in a Buzz Wool tag team, and I do not remember the other. I was just about to say that I'm like, I'm doing pretty well remembering these guys' name in Japanese. Um, <laughs> and then I feel like now I just, I failed twice on that day. Oh well, it happens. We're busting into the next one. It's a little interesting. Oh, I realize that I'm getting my little iPad in there. We don't, we don't want that. Um, yeah, this, this just feels totally different. The packaging feels different. The cards feel different. The backs obviously look different. It's just a different experience. I really like it. We gotta go Stunfisk. Uh, there's a little C and B and another C. I don't know if that's common or not. Like if it's go to C to A or something. I guess I'll just keep opening. And that one's a C. It's a nine tails. There's no way that's a So this is a secret, a secret rare right here. Oh. It looks like it has texture. It feels like it has texture. So that is a that is awesome right there. Um, that one actually deserves to be sleeved. Um, my sleeves are beneath me. I normally keep them right next to me so I don't look like I'm reaching down all the time. But there you go. Now I'm not sure if it'll come with another uh, energy like that, but um, that's great pull. Um, we got a reverse holo. Ooh! Okay, I love this card. Holographic Japanese Blastoise. That is sick. Okay, I know. I don't know if it's worth sleeving. I'm gonna put it back there and I'll probably end up sleeping after the video. And then our ultra rare is Charizard Reshiram GX. That is a great ultra rare. Um, I love to have that in Japanese. It's awesome. I'm gonna get, I have another little thing here. We'll just do this. Do this. The other one's getting a little bit full, so we'll make room. All right, let's, let's bust in here. I got one, two, three, four, I think five packs left maybe we're just now half halfway through i feel like i'm slurring slurring a lot in this video pretty tired i just uh um, now i'm done with school and everything i just went and i cleaned my entire house i still have the vacuum in the main room uh but um my wife's wrapping gifts down there right now um i just finished wrapping gifts myself i'm about to go on conferences i talked about that in another video um, Jolteon, that's a great card. Um, so I'm giving her time and I was like, I can record a couple of videos here. That's a net ball, I think. That's a cool ball. Uh, we got a reverse um, uh, holographic fire. My, my voice, I'm losing my voice. It sounds like, <clears throat> I am sorry. I'm gonna keep trying not to lose it. Um, the Krosma, the the I hope that's right. I hope I'm not making a full holographic. I love that Articuno holographic. Actually, I'm gonna put that one back there with Blastoise. I love that one so much. And then we got a Zekrom and Pikachu tag team GX. I don't think we've achieved our giant big pull yet. I don't think that energy counts as it for sure, um, but that's okay. I would. I love keeping that, uh, keeping that suspense going. Um, and what's great is I'm gonna keep pulling these ultra rares and everything, so it's not like. 
It shouldn't be boring, right? I have these upside down. I gotta remember, I gotta flip them funky. Okay, one, two, three, here we go, two. It's been working out quite well. Trico, love that Trico. I'm gonna have to keep, I think I'm gonna make a separate binder, probably just for my Japanese uh, cards. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm, I think I'm in, like, especially after opening this box, I, I'm i sold. Ooh, ooh, I love that. I would love to get that one with the pattern, the secret rare version. I love Steel. Steel's my favorite type of Pokemon. Uh, we got a reverse holo there. Ooh, Raikou. Oh, look at that, we got a prism card back here. Raikou holographic, I'm gonna put you back here because I love you. Um, I don't know if this prism's worth uh, sleeving, uh, but it is cool to see a prism in there. And then, oh, this guy, um, he does really well, I feel like. I feel like I've seen a lot of Pokemon cards with him do really well. So it makes sense that he's in here, but I don't remember his name. That's cool, I think we have like three packs left, don't we? I'm gonna have a hard time grabbing that last one. So our third to last pack. We're busting in right now. Oh, I didn't do the trick. One, two. I feel like I need to be way more delicate with these cards, but these cards, I feel like they're made nicer than the English ones. I won't lie. Like, I feel like this glossiness and protective, they feel really good. I love that Pidgeotto. Look at that background. That's an incredible looking card. Okay, uh, that's a Malmar. I remember that one. That's got a secret one. We got a Psychic Energy. Uh, I normally get a ton of those. Oh, I love that Magnemite. Look at that, he's in the grass, he's happy. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, we got a Yervetl. Wouldn't it be an opening without Yervetl? Oh, we got a Volcarona. Those are pretty good holographics. I think I have this one um, in the Build and Battle set of uh, Unbroken Bonds. And then we have, ooh, look at that, Rayquaza. This is probably my favorite ultra rare pull. I don't actually know what set this one comes out of either in the English, but uh, I love that. I love that. That's probably my favorite ultra rare pull so far. But I think I think we're gonna have another one. There's only two packs, so will they save the best for last? I'm actually surprised we haven't pulled it yet, but maybe it'll be in this one. It's fine if it isn't, because it'll be in the last one, but uh, I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, here we go. I feel it, I feel it, I'm getting excited. Something good's coming. Something good is coming. All right, that's a really good guy in the deck in the English, I know what he uh, is Evolve. I use him all the time on one of my decks. Um, I think that's a Tapu Coco, Water Tapu Coco. Okay, we got Electric Energy. We got our reverse Pokédex, or what I saw on Nintendo DS meme, I don't know. We got a Jirachi Holographic. Ooh, we got a, a Dedini. I had to think about that. Dedini GX, very uh, played competitively, highly played competitively. So there we go. And we are down to the final pack of this box. We'll put that away. This, I think it has to contain the goods, right? Um, I was shocked if it's that energy. I mean, I guess it could be, uh, but hope we didn't get that box. Going in, but I feel like there's at least one of those in every box, and I see people open them. So I'm exp I'm expecting good things in this one. Here we go. Here we go. Natu, that's a cool Natu. Uh, Squirtle, I love you. You go well with that Blastoise. I don't think we pulled that War Turtle. That's too bad. I'd love to have all three in Japanese. I do have another box. So maybe we'll pull it in there. We got Red. We got a, a Band. Okay, we got a Leaf Energy, which I think is a new one. Reverse Hollow Alolan Diglett, he's got those hairs. Holographic Mew, Japanese, that's great. We got a holographic um, White Kiram, I believe that is, White Kiram Holographic. And, oh, we got, I believe this is a Garchomp, a Garchomp and a, um, and a, a Necrozma Gold card. That was 100% worth the wait, that is crazy. Gorgeous. I think there's a Charizard and Reshiram one, which is probably the big one everyone wants, but I am ecstatic with that pull. I did not actually expect it to get a gold card. Um, I think there's other things it could be, but that, oh, baby. Uh, that was, uh, I am, I am a happy camper. And I love that that was the last one we just pulled. But I had one bonus pack from the mystery box, the Hidden Fates one. Let us see if we can get anything really cool out of here. I'm not gonna even pretend like I know a card trick. So I'm not gonna do one. Okay, okay. 
I'm gonna keep these over here because it's in fate. Ah, look at that magneton. Is that an in fate? I don't think that's an in fate. I love that. That is gorgeous. <gasps> okay, we got a holographic here. Oh, this is a uh, Zerkatry. Holographic Zerkatry, Zir which is an ultra beast. Oh, we got another hollow, Blaziken. These aren't actually in Hidden Fates. This is different. Oh, and we got a... Um, oh, this is Necrozma. I'm a fool. What, what's the other guy's name? Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a reverse shadowed ho Shattered Hollow right there. That's cool. It's a Viper. That's awesome. CD Trainer. Let's sleeve up the Necrozma. Garnatilla, Gargantula. What is that Pokemon called, guys? Why am I such a fool? I'm trying to think of where I would, uh, I would find the name of it. I gotta find it. It has to happen. Where am I gonna find that? I'll be right back. I we'll have to make a cut here. What is that Pokemon's name? I don't know, I have it. And I've gone too long off about it. Look at me, I'm a mess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry about butchering it. Tell me that Pokemon's name. Please tell me that Pokemon's name so I can like look at this video and be like, you dummy. Um, but thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like. I have another one. If you wanna see it, please subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.